The Trials of the Rizal Bill Jose Rizal is one of the most venerated persons who fought for freedom against the colonizers in a more tranquil yet powerful way. He used his writings to show the true condition of the Philippines under the Spanish government. He came up with two indispensable novels, Noli Mi Tangere and El Filipusterismo, both exposing the ills of the Philippine society, including corruption, abuse of cloth, and other atrocious acts of the conquerors. His political criticism led him to his execution. To acknowledge the works of Rizal in the aim of attaining Philippine independence, Claro M. Recto authored the Senate Bill 438, which was sponsored by Jose P. Laurel. The bill mandates the inclusion of Rizal course in the curricula of all colleges and universities. It went a lot of printed debates and arguments and was highly censured by the religious groups before it was signed into law. Opposition argued that the Rizal Bill is an attempt to discredit the Catholic religion. They claimed that Rizal ridiculed the beliefs and practices of the Church. In his two novels, he portrayed the religious sectors as the antagonists in the story. They argued that reading those novels will abase the Catholic dogmas and would breach freedom of conscience. They also contend that the majority of the Filipinos are Catholic and Filipino citizens. Therefore, must not create conflicts between religion and nationalism. Proponents then asserted that Rizal did not pretend to teach religion and theology. Rather, he just wrote and described the real situations of the country. He was just inculcating civic consciousness in the Filipinos, national dignity, personal pride, and patriotism. They added that Rizal really did ridicule and criticize the unworthy behavior of the minister, but he praises and favored the worthy ones such as Padre Fernandez, Padre Florentino, and the Jesuits missionaries. The earnest expostulations of the church regarding this bill even caused them to leave a warning. Whoever among the politicians that will favor this bill cannot expect support from the church in their political career. They even leave a threat that Catholic schools will close down if the bill was passed. Rector reported that he don't believe in such threats knowing that schools were too profitable to be closed. He even insisted that the threat is not a fight against him, but a fight against Rizal by attempting to suppress his memory and his teachings. After several heated debates, the bill was passed, but it allowed exemptions to students who think that reading Nolly and Philly would ruin their fate. On June 12, 1956, Senate Bill 438 was signed into law by President Ramon Magsaysay and became Republic Act No. 1425, also known as the Rizal Law. The teachings of Rizal is still relevant in the modern day because the ills in our society are still prevalent. We need to take actions in these adversaries in a more peaceful yet formidable way as what our national hero did. It is important to study the life and works of Rizal as it will help us in shaping national character, developing morals, personal discipline, civic consciousness, and will teach the duties of citizenship. Apart from that, it gives us an opportune time to learn and reflect from the life, works, and writings of Rizal that could help in bringing back the fire of nationalism among Filipinos, which is gradually dwindling at the present times. As what Claro M. Recto said, Nationalism is nourished by a sense of history. It is of its essence to know profoundly the past so that we may be in complete openness with the men who made that history and the intimate communion with their thoughts, their deeds, and their noble lives.